color grading. Color grading is a really important thing when it comes to making your footage look cinematic. And I've seen a lot of color grading in DaVinci specifically where all the tutorials, almost all the tutorials, use LUTs. And there's nothing wrong with LUTs. But I personally hate myself and don't like to use them because I feel like I just like having all the control, you know, having everything laid out and I can control everything specifically, having a complete control over what I want it to look like instead of what I feel like is a waste of time going and searching through LUTs and just trying to find one that fits the vibe when I could just create the vibe on my own because I know what I'm looking for whenever I'm going to create one and I could just go in and do it. This is how I color grade my footage without using any sort of LUT and just from the beginning to the end. Starting from the beginning, we're going to make a bunch of nodes like that. I have no idea if we're gonna use all of them. I haven't done it yet, but I just, you know, throw them all out there just so I have them. But I'm gonna go through and name them what I want to name them and what they're gonna be doing so I don't lose track. I made a shortcut where I do Command L and I can name each of them really quickly. You don't have to do that, but it makes it easier for me. So first one is going to be the primary wheels that you can see on the bottom left right here, primaries. And then the next one's gonna be saturation. So I'm just gonna do that. And then the other one will be, um, I like to title it contrast, but I'm basically just going to the curves. So you can do curves or contrast or whatever it is that'll help you keep track of it better. So primary, saturation, and contrast are the main ones. And then I like to do noise reduction too, specifically for this clips like this one, because it's nighttime and it's really hard to not get noise. But I like to do that at the beginning. And then this one, I'm just gonna title look. This is the one that I'm going to be implementing color into specific areas. First things first is we're gonna go into the primaries. So these wheels in the bottom left, it's the two wheels, there's one that says HDR and the one that does not say HDR. The one that does not say HDR is the one we're gonna go into. So then you're gonna have your scopes, the waveform right here, and it's gonna show where it's at. So you can see it's really flat. All of it is right close to the bottom. So what we wanna do is spread it out. So we're gonna take the bottom and bring it down just below zero, about right there. Then we're gonna take the gain and bring it all the way up about right there. So now it's pretty spread out. I'm gonna take the gamma and just sort of put it somewhere where I think it looks good. Don't need to worry too much about the contrast of it yet because We'll get to that. But that looks pretty good right now, and we might come back later, but it looks good right now to me. Then we're gonna go to saturation, and there's a bunch of ways to introduce saturation to the image. What I like to do is go into the RGB mixer, because this way, I have more control over the look of it. So what I'm talking about is you bring all these up, and then you get more saturation. Now it's all saturated. But if you want to have more of a, you know, cooler look to it, you can take a little bit of the red out and you're already closer to what you want. Real quick, I'm just gonna go back and adjust the temperature and I want it to be a little bit more on the cooler side and then bring down uh, a little, some of the red. I feel like the red is a little overpowering. All right, and then the contrast, we're gonna go over to the curves right here. What I like to do is put three markers like that and I like to go down with it just a little bit right there and up with this one just a little bit and maybe up a little bit like that. So that looks pretty good, I'd say. So now now we're gonna go into the look and then this is where we go to the HDR wheels. All the attributes I want to see in the image, this is where I'm gonna start putting it in there. So like if I wanted it to be, you know, the highlights to look a specific way or I wanted the darkness to look a specific way, this is where I'm going to do it. We're gonna go to the highlights. We're just gonna introduce a little bit of orange. So see right there, the very brightest parts of the image is gonna be orange. We don't wanna mess with it too much because it'll look kind of crazy, just a little bit. And then go into the light, which is the slightly less bright part of the image. And we're gonna do the same thing. And then we're gonna go into the shadows, do a little bit of teal. It's kind of like an orange and tealish look, or it literally is an orange and tealish look. And just so you know, you can do whatever you want. I think it looks good this way. I want to make, I like the way I'm going about it, but if you want to, do uh, you know slightly different look then that's completely up to you I think that's about where I'd like it it's look it's starting to look pretty good so then I'm gonna go back into the curves and go into the hue versus saturation so this is where we're gonna choose which colors we want to stick out more than others and slightly desaturate it just a little bit. So that way the colors we do saturate have more power in the image. I do like the idea of the orange 
sticking out and then I also want the blue and teal to be sticking out and then I think that looks pretty good so now we're gonna go into the skin and make sure the skin looks good so there's a little uh, qualifier right there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this up on the top left and it's gonna show what our mask looks like. So that way we know what we're doing. What we're doing is we kinda of just want the skin to match with the skin tone and we want it to look with the rest of the image. So if it looks completely different than the rest of the image, that's not gonna look very good. But you go to waveform, vector scope. And then this line right about right here, that's where we want his skin tone to be, which it looks like it's already there. Pretty much already there. We're just gonna go into the noise, go down to effects. We're gonna search for noise reduction, put it on there. And then this little icon right here, motion effects, this is where you're gonna go and affect all of the things so we're gonna go into frames we're gonna go into five we're gonna go into better because it'll work better um, if you're gonna be having this activated while you're editing having it be on faster will probably be a little bit easier to edit with we're not gonna do too much editing with this whenever I'm editing I'll just take off the color grade so that way it'll run better um, and then we're gonna bring it up to not so much where it'll ruin the look but just enough to get rid of some of the noise. What I'm noticing is there's some color in the darkish parts of it, and I don't really like that right now. I do like color in the shadows, but the the pure blacks, I don't want that to be blue, I want it to be pure black, if you know what I mean. We're gonna go into saturation, luma versus saturation. So this is the darkest on the left and the brightest on the right, and this is how saturated it is. So our purest black right over here, we don't want blue in that. So we're gonna make a little anchor right here and then take the purest black and bring it down. So now there's no blue in the purest black, but there is still some in the shadows. So it's exactly what we want. Okay, and um, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna copy and paste this to the other clips. Just see where they will, how they look. <laughs> and this one looks pretty good in my opinion. Let's go to the next one. I like the way that looks too. There really is not a whole lot I can think I would wanna do to this. What I like to do with all of my videos pretty much is add a letterbox, which if you don't know what that is, it's just the black bars at the top and the bottom. Let's do 70, 70 at the bottom. Make sure everything's still in frame. Yep, that is how I color grade. That is a quick color grade. What I wanted out of the image was is relatively easy to do. Um, if you guys wanna see other things like maybe, I don't know, Matrix look or some other movie or something like that, I can learn how to do it and then I will come back and I will teach you how to do it. Um, I'm sure a lot of movies have already been covered on how to color grade though so I don't see the need but if you want to see me specifically walk you through it because you just like the way I talk or the way I teach or something then I'll gladly do it. So yeah if you like this video then press the like button and please subscribe because I will be making more videos after this.